Hello, the Darkness 344 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing off this fairly simple vertical um, red coder design, um, otherwise known as a um, hexadecimal to decimal converter, where you input a hex hexadecimal value in signal strength, and you get out a decimal value. Um, just a well, yeah, just a decimal value. So, well, we can try it out over here. So, for instance, if I put an eight, um, we'll get an output of eight. And this works for if you put in, well, any number from um, 0 to F in hexadecimal, or 0 to 15. So this design is um, fairly simple, it works both on Java and Bedrock Edition, and it also has um, a 0 input as well, which is fairly simple. So as you can see, we're inputting 0 signal strength at the moment, so uh, the 0 light turns on. Um, and it basically works on the principle, uh, well, it, it uses a... a glass tower or just just a tower of um, transparent blocks to um, bring the signal up basically and it just uses a fairly simple circuit to um, decide which lamp to turn on so the way this works is basically when we input a signal say let's just um, we, we can input seven for now um, we have a signal strength of seven going into this block which uh, gets read by this comparator and goes into this dust over here then what happens is um, it'll travel up this glass tower. Um, you could use slabs if you want, it doesn't really matter. So it'll, it'll travel up like this, and um, what will happen is if the signal strength reaches here, so if the signal strength is here on the tower, this comparator will read it, and then just all it'll do is forward the signal to this comparator over here. And then if it reaches here, so this one's one less signal strength than this one, then this repeater will read that and it'll forward the signal strength well it'll just it'll just um, put a signal strength of 15 into the side of this convert a uh, comparator this comparator is on subtract mode so what it'll do it will um, subtract 15 uh, over here from whatever this is and then it'll output it here so of course um, at the moment seeing as we, we can put any number in over here and as long as this one lights up and puts out 15 over here, this lamp will always remain off because um, anything below 15 minus 15 will be a negative number and um, that will just mean it's uh, a zero basically. So the way the lamp actually lights up is when we actually reach um, a place in the tower where the signal strength only goes into the comparator but is not... Um, well, the one less is a signal strength of zero, so the repeater doesn't actually um, get an input, which means that this um, com this comparator on subtract mode is now only subtracting zero from whatever number we, we have. So say, well, we have seven, for instance, but, well, this is a signal strength of one anyway. So we input a signal strength of one, and this comparator will basically do one minus zero, um, which is, of course, is just one, so it will light up. But all the others will have um, something different. So for this one over here, we have we have a signal strength of two over here, and a signal strength of one over here. But then um, this gets picked up by the repeater and turns it into a signal strength of fifteen. So of course, um, two minus fifteen is going to be a negative number. So it'll um, be a zero. And that's basically how a red coder works. Of course, there are horizontal designs as well, and they just do the exact same thing. So to build this, first of all, um, we are just going to block up like this. And um, we can put our input, um, for instance, with just a comparator like this. And then whatever number we input into this in signal strength, um, it will light up the corresponding lamp. Um, do note that you can actually um, flip the way around this goes. So instead of having one at the top, if you want one at the bottom and 15 at the top, you can do that by using a comparator um, going into another one on subtract mode, like, like this for instance. So if we have this one on subtract mode and then put a full signal strength of 15 over here, then we have our input over here. That means um, it'll flip it basically. So, and that, that will input like that. However, this does mean that you lose one digit. So instead of um, being 0 to 15, it will only be 0 to 14, because it's just, just the way it works. So now, um, let's actually build it. If we go up a bit, um, all we need to do is first of all just place one comparator down like this. And this is the input to the circuit. 
Then what we're going to do is um, go up like this, and this will be a tower. Uh, I'm using glass blocks, you can use um, slabs if you want. Uh, if you're on bedrock edition, um, you can also have your comparator input at the top, um, because um, it, it travels down, the signal can travel down glass blocks, where on Java edition that doesn't happen. So now once we've got this glass tower, we are going to build the rest of the circuit, and that's as simple as uh, just placing down these five blocks like this on each layer. And now once we've done this, we can place two comparators like this. Um, the second one will be on subtract mode. Then we place a repeater down next to the first comparator on both sides, and then just redstone dust like this. Note that this um, second comparator over here is actually needed because even though it's not the one doing the subtraction, um, it adds a, well, one redstone tick of um, signal delay uh, going into this one. So it means you won't have any like flashing lamps. Uh, for instance, if we go over here, this is a version that doesn't use that second comparator. Um, as you can see, the lamps flash for a bit, which is a bit annoying. So now this is basically the circuit, um, and we can stack this up. But there is only one thing um, left to do, and um, that's actually to add repeaters here. If you're outputting directly to um, redstone lamps, you can just um, put your redstone lamps immediately down after. Um, however, if you're outputting to a circuit that might be um, further away, you will need repeaters um, directly on the output of this comparator because sometimes um, the, the way the subtraction works, you might only get a signal strength of one coming as the output, so you will need the, a repeater to repeat it to be a signal strength of 15. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to stack this up, and uh, I'll just build another layer just to show you how we can do that. Um, all you have to do is just build on top like this, and then I'll show you how to do it with world edits. So... There we go, and that's basically that, and that's another layer. And then I'm just going to put lamps down, and there we go. And then I'll put some blocks down here as well. So now um, to stack this with world edit, um, if you're on bedrock, you can use um, the behavior pack um, by SI Silicon. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, do uh, let's let's say this one over here. We're going to select this corner over here. And we are going to select um, this corner over here. So as you can see, there's a bounding box on Bedrock Edition. I'm not sure if the Java one has this, I can't exactly remember. And this is just our selection. So it's only two blocks high by however many long it is. And the reason why we build four modules is just for stacking purposes. You could build two and then do uh, one of them, one side separately and then the other side separately. But this way, it just means we can do them all at once. And we're just going to look up and we're going to stack um, say seven maybe and there we go we have the modules and just to make sure this is working let's input a signal strength of 15 and then the top lamp should light up so we did this one too high but all we have to do is just break these ones up here so now once we've done this there's only one last thing to add and because this one's 15 and this one's one we also want a zero indicator so what we can do is, well, say we want a lamp here, for instance, if we just um, put a redstone lamp down like this, and then I'm just going to get rid of this selection block, uh, box real quick. What we're going to want to do is um, bring some redstone down like this, and because this is our input over here, um, what we're going to do is this bottom glass block, or, or transparent block, we're going to replace with a solid block, and place the redstone back, then we're going to put a redstone torch here and note that this redstone torch doesn't actually um, feed back into itself because this block above it is a transparent block but it does mean that we can actually place redstone like this going into this lamp and that means um, when we bring this along um, whenever we input a signal strength of zero um, the zero light will turn on of course because it's reading zero but whenever we input a signal strength of anything else for instance, um, I'm not sure exactly what that is, then we'll have the light turn up, turn, turn on. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.